Hi everybody, David here again with ScreenBeam One Take Tips. Today we're going to talk about extended screen mode and some tricks that you can do. Now this is a Windows only functionality, well not Windows only, but I'm going to show it on Windows, but there are some things you can do with this in the macOS environment that you can take a look at and hopefully we'll get a chance to talk about those a little bit later. But you can see right now I'm in duplicate mode, which means I'm mirroring my screen. And again, as I mentioned earlier, this computer thinks there's a cable there. So one of the things that you can do in Windows and in macOS is you can do extended screen. So I can take what's on here and not show this all the time, I can take and make it into two screens. So to do that, there's a quick um, keyboard shortcut for that. I'm gonna hit Windows and the letter P, P for Paul, Windows and the letter P, and I'm gonna select Extend when that menu comes up. So now I've extended my screen from here onto there, and you can see if I open up a window on this device, it's not gonna show up there necessarily. But then you say to yourself, well, that's great, David, but then how do I, let's say I don't have a touch screen or I don't have access to my mouse that I usually click and drag things with, and maybe I'm not as good with the, uh, the touch pad as some people, what are the keyboard shortcuts to get my screen from here to another screen? So that's also super easy. I'm gonna hit Windows button, and you notice here I'm gonna hit Windows button, and I'm gonna hit the arrow key. When I hit that right arrow key, you can see that window then jumps over, and if I hit all the way over and then I go up, it makes it full screen. So now I've, without touching any mouse, without trying to click and drag and make sure I've dragged my mouse over there, I've just utilized my keyboard shortcuts to pull a window over to the other screen. Now what's really cool about this is if I take my mouse and I move it over here and I'm in this window, if I hit the Windows arrow button again, you can see that I can snap that window to the right side of my screen, and now I've got the chance to put another window there in my screen so I can have two side by side, but notice I've still got control of my laptop. So this is great in that teaching environment where I wanna have some content showing on the screen in the front of the room, but I still wanna have control of my laptop. Maybe I need to open up a rubric and listen while students are, are talking about what's on the screen. Maybe they're giving a presentation and so I wanna have access to my screen at the same time while I'm sharing content that they shared with me. Lots of different scenarios, but learn those shortcuts and learn how to use the devices that you have with ScreenBeam. Because again, we're not making you use any apps to do this, so it's just about practicing and utilizing your devices to the fullest, getting the best return on it. And these one take tips are really all about that. It's helping you be able to learn how to work better in wireless display in your wireless display environment. Don't go anywhere else for this stuff. Come to us at ScreenBeam, ScreenBeam One Take Tips. We've got more to come. Hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.